haters will say that this cheeseburger has too much mayonnaise and that's subjective and I don't agree with you. Step one, I am making some insanely jammy and rich caramelized onions that I could pretty much eat plain all day, every day. You need to be super patient when doing these, but the final result makes it all worth it in the end. For this batch of caramelized onions, I'm doing about four large onions sliced up with maybe six tablespoons of butter, salted butter, and then I cook it down for about an hour, hour and a half. Then for this Lux burger, I'm making a homemade mayonnaise, which is why you'll want extra on the buns because it's delicious. Ingredients are in the description and the recipe is on my website. It's really easy to make and it's super delicious. When forming the patties, I'm doing a half a pound per burger and I'm trying my best to barely work the meat and I'm putting a little indention in the middle of each patty so that they turn out pretty even in thickness. For cheese, I'm sticking with Velveeta American cheese because it's the best for burgers and if you disagree, then you can use whatever cheese that you think is the best. I'm pan frying the buns with butter for a nice little extra crunch that it adds when eating these magical creations. I grilled these burgers for about seven to 10 minutes and they came out medium rare and were perfect. I started the grill out at medium high and then I ended it at high. Then I like to keep my burgers with simple toppings, mayonnaise, lots of mayonnaise, thick dill pickles, burger, extra American cheese, and then a decent amount of caramelized onions. 